Hey there, Boots Owen here. Let's have a look at how to clean the filters on this Candy 7 Kilo heat pump tumble dryer. This uh, process will be the same for pretty much any heat pump tumble dryer, Candy or otherwise. First of all, let's open the door. And then in here is the first filter. Lift that out, take a look at it. Looks okay, full of lint. We'll clean that out. Look in there, it's not too bad really. Then down the bottom, I'm going to push it in the center, sometimes they pop open. Here, grab it on the side. This is an integrated appliance and uh, other machines may have different ways of getting in. Sometimes they have a button to pop, but this one bears on that little brass nub there. So just grab it at the side as I did and pull it out. One, two, three little levers. And then this is the second filter in here, full of fluff again. And the third filter here with moisture on it and more fluff around it. So let's bring that over to the sink and we'll give it a clean. If in here was full of fluff, it would be worth cleaning it out. But as it stands, it's actually quite clean. And if those fins there are covered in fluff, you need to be worried or, well, you don't need to be worried, but you need to clean them somehow. So you get a gentle brush, something like a toothbrush, and you try and flick the lint out towards yourself. As it stands, that's all, that's all really spotlessly clean in there. And the filters appear to be doing their job. I'll give this a wipe out before I put it back together. So first things first with this filter, let's just open it up. It's just got fluff in it by the looks of things. So let's pick all that out and we'll do a better job in the sink later. This can go straight into the dustbin. This one here should lift out and gently pop off these buttons. Give it a bit of a wriggle around in a circle and it just lifts off then. And then in here, there's another Thing. Actually, I could have probably left those two together, but that's okay. Give this a wipe off. This is this should have been cleaned a long time ago. They're wet, but they come off beautifully. <laughs> so maybe it doesn't matter. Let's get to the sink. So now we're in the sink. Let's begin here. And just wash off anything around the edges. There isn't much in this one. There isn't really anything. There shouldn't be anything caught in this, really. You can see what has come off the edges there on the sheet below. If this is dry, it might be best to dust it off first, but because it's wet, it won't just fall away. So I'm using water to help lift it. Anything, if you don't manage to get off this now, might go through into the condenser unit and that wouldn't be good. So we'll give it a good squeeze now. And that's that done. It doesn't matter if it goes back wet, really. Next up. a gentle brush here. In fact, that's not gentle enough, I don't think. An even gentler one. I just get in there. So what I'm doing here is I can see that there's dirt on it, so I'm trying to rub it with both my fingers, one on each side. You need to be gentle because you do not want to put a hole in it. There we go. I'd say that's clean enough. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a wipe to take any excess moisture off the outside and any extra lint that I can see. But it doesn't matter if this is wet going back in because it'll dry pretty quickly or it'll keep getting damp from the laundry, depending on what phase of the cycle we're in. It's clear that these hadn't been cleaned in quite some time. So it's a good idea to do it more often than that. I would recommend this one after every wash or every, every drying cycle. I'm sure the manufacturers say the same thing. This one, Put it the right way around. Not that there is a right way really, but I'll put it around the same way as it was before in case there's any dust. Now I mentioned 
little specks of fluff that are on that, they need to be removed, hair, or anything like that. So just look over it carefully and make sure that it's clean. It might be best to leave this to dry, but again, it doesn't really matter. I can just see some specks of something there coming off my finger. You could clean this with a brush if it was dry first. Okay, that's that. And this should snap in. It's got little legs on the bottom there that snap into the holder. And that snaps. Click, shut. And we'll put it back together now. So I've got a workshop rag here and I'm just going to clean around the edges there. Clean the inside of that tray. Be careful not to damage these fins. They bend quite easily if you're too aggressive. You can see as I reach up, fluff comes down, but it's better to get it out. The other thing you can do is take a brush like this, push it down from above, and just get out any of the last bits of dirt in there. You can see dust coming through. Whoa, it's a bit fluffy. It's worth doing. A vacuum would help in this situation. Now, I'm quite pleased with that. Let's put this back in. Let's put this one back in the right way up. It should only go one way, really, but uh, the way you took it out, I guess, it says up on it. That's a clue. Snap those shut. The last job then is to snap this back on. It has little locating hooks on the bottom. Go into two holes in this case. And that's it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give the video a like if it was helpful. Uh, don't forget super thanks it should be down there somewhere maybe if you're watching this on the small screen or go and look for it below a couple of quid always helps out question or comments about the process leave them below thanks for watching see you later